Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a record set in Route 53. To create a record set in Route 53, the first thing I want you to do is open your project folder. Once you've opened your project folder, we will create a Terraform file in it and call the Terraform file route53.tf. To create the reference file, I'll right click in this space, I'll select new file and type route53.tf. Why should type route53.tf press enter? The next thing I want you to do is download the reference file from this video's description. Once you've downloaded it, open it. This is the reference file we will use to create a record set in route 53. And in this reference file, I've included the resource type and the arguments we need. The first note at the top of each syntax explains the type of resource the syntax will create. And the second note is what you will type in Google if you want to find this syntax in the Terraform documentation. The next thing I want you to do is select everything in this reference file. I'll press Ctrl A to select everything. Once you've selected everything, right click and copy it. Then come to the Route 53 file and paste it in there. Once you've pasted it, close the reference file. We don't need it anymore. The first syntax in this Terraform file is data source. And this is how we reference a resource we already have in AWS. In our AWS account, we already have a domain name registered and we want to reference that domain name in our Route 53 file. This is how we do it. So we specify the data source type and the reference name. The argument we are going to enter on that name is the domain name. So what I want you to do is go into your AWS account and copy your domain name. I'll go into my AWS account. Then type Route 53 in the search box. And select Route 53 under services. In your Route 53 dashboard, click Domain. And on this page, you will see all your registered domain. This is the domain we want to reference in our Terraform file. I'll go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, for the argument name, instead of entering the domain name here, let's create a variable for it. I'll open the variable file and I'll scroll all the way down. I'll press enter down here twice and I'll type my notes. I'll call it route 53 variables. Once you type your notes, press enter again. Then copy one of these variables up here and paste it down here. Once you've pasted the variable, the first thing we will do is modify the variable name. For the variable name, I'll call it domain name. I'll remove this and type domain name. Then under default, we will enter our domain name in here. Let's go to the management console, copy this, then go back to your Terraform file and under default value, paste that domain name in there. For the description, we will type domain name. And the type is going to be a string. Once you've created the variable, copy the variable name. Then go back to the Route 53 file. Under the argument name, we will reference that variable. To reference that variable, we'll type var dot and paste that variable name there. Once we have referenced the domain name, the next resource will create a record set in Route 53. And for this resource, I've included the resource type and the reference name. The first argument we will enter is the hosted zone ID of the domain name we registered. We reference the domain name in our Terraform file up here. And if you look at the value of the hosted zone ID, it is the data, resource type, and the reference name. That's what we have here, data, resource type, reference name, and the attribute we want to reference is the hosted zone ID. The next argument we will enter is the name, and this is the subdomain name. Instead of entering the value of the name here, let's create a variable for it. I'll go back to the variable file and I'll copy this variable up here. And I'll press enter twice and I'll paste it down here. The next thing we are going to do is modify the variable. We are going to remove this and call it record name. Once you've entered the name of your variable for the default value, you can enter anything you want as your subdomain name. For my subdomain name, I'll enter www. For the description, 
I'll type subdomain name. And the value is going to be a string. Once you've created the variable, select the variable name and copy it. Then come back to the Route 53 file. And under the argument name, we will reference that variable. We'll type var dot and paste that variable name there. The next argument we will enter is the record type. And the record type is going to be an A record. In double quotes, type capital A. The next argument we will enter is the alias. And this is how we switch the traffic from our application load balancer's DNS name to our domain name. So for the argument name, we will reference the application load balancer's DNS name here. To reference the application load balancer's DNS name, let's go to our ALB file. In our ALB file, this is the resource creating the application load balancer. So we'll copy the resource type and the reference name. Once you copy it, come back to the Route 53 file. We'll paste it in here. Remove the double quotes between them. Add a period. Then come all the way to the end. Add another period. The attribute we will be referencing is the DNS name. So type the attributes like this. The next argument is the hosted zone ID. And this is also going to be the hosted zone ID of the application load balancer. To reference the hosted zone ID of the application load balancer, it is similar to what we did here. We will paste the resource type and the reference name we copied previously here. Once you paste the resource type and the reference name, remove the quotes between them, add a period, then come all the way to the end, add another period, and the attribute we want to reference is the zone ID. So type zone underscore ID here. The next argument we will enter is evaluate target health. And for this, we will type true. This is how we create a record set in Route 53. The next thing I want you to do is save your file. Click file and click save all. Once you save your file, we will use Terraform to create this record set in Route 53. To create the record set in Route 53, open the terminal. I'll select terminal and click new terminal. Once you open the terminal, type Terraform apply. Once you type Terraform apply, press enter. When you type Terraform apply and press enter, first Terraform is going to show you the plan of the resource it will create. And it will ask you, do you want to perform these actions? We'll type yes. And there you go, Terraform is now creating the resource in our AWS account. We'll give it some time to finish creating it. Terraform has created the record set in Route 53. Let's go to the AWS Management Console to verify it. In the Route 53 Management Console, I'll click Dashboard. And I'll select Hosted Zone. In your hosted zone, select the domain name. You can see the record set Terraform created here, and the record set is pointing to the application load balancer's DNS name. The next thing we need to do is see if we can access our website. Once you've created your record set in Route 53, to access your website, copy your record name here, then open a new web browser and paste your domain name in there. Once you paste your domain name, press enter. And there you go, we can access our website. This is how you use Terraform to create a dynamic website in AWS. And this is the website you can present during your interview. We've created our record set in Route 53 and we've verified that our website is working. The next thing we need to do is go into Visual Studio Code and push the updates to our GitHub repository. I'll go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, to push the update to the GitHub repository, I'll select source control here. Then I'll type a message in here. I'll type created route 53 file. Once you type your message, click this check mark to commit it. And here, this message just wants me to save the file before I commit it. I'll click save all and commit. The variable file is not committed. So I'm going to commit it by first typing a message. Once you type your message, click this check mark to commit it. And once you've committed, you can see we have two changes that we need to push to our GitHub repository. 
click sync changes and that will push all the changes to the github repository we have pushed all the changes to the github repository let's go to our github account to verify that those changes are there in my github account i'll select the terraform projects repository and there you go in the terraform projects repository the route 53 file is here if you select it you'll see the resource we created on our computer is also in the file this is how you create a record set in route 53 and push the changes back to your github repository if you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand please leave your comments below thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye